you Lisa, the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com. And if you watched one of my recent shop with me's when I went thrift store shopping, I found this awesome box at a thrift store for $5, which was a fantastic deal. I am super excited about it, but I want to customize it for my craft room. I am wanting to change it up and make it a little bit more unique. So I thought I would do a video to show you how I plan to do that. I am going to be using my Cricut to help make this a more unique, a more me piece. Um, but step one is going to be some spray paint. So I'm going to take this out to the garage, do a little spray painting, and then come back and talk about how I plan to work my Cricut to um, make this piece awesome. All right, let's do it. All right, I started with this high gloss spray paint because the feel of the drawers did not feel like it had a coating on it. But truthfully, the spray paint just soaked right in. It just wasn't thick enough because it didn't have the coating. It soaked right into the wood. It really needed to be primed first or use a thicker paint. So I gave the spray paint a couple of tries, a couple of coats. You can even see there on the top how it just wasn't working. And now I'm confused. I'm not sure what it's going to look like. Like maybe I should give it another shot. It was a little bit of a journey figuring out what to do. Um, I was really worried that I had like ruined the drawers. I was like, should I wipe them all off? What should I do? Let me try another coat. Um, I tried the second coat still didn't really work. So what I opted for, my goal was to not purchase anything for this project besides the $5 drawer set. So I ended up going with a slightly grayish white paint that we just had in our paint stash that you accumulate as paint owners. And this one, interior eggshell. So I definitely didn't want a gloss because gloss tends to stick. So I opened up this paint and it's going to be perfect, much thicker. So it'll work really nicely for this drawer set. So now I'm going to work on a decal that can go on the front of my set of drawers and I'm going to go with a rainbow. So I'm just going to click on the images icon to the left. I'm going to type in the word rainbow and you will see a bunch of options come up. There's all kinds of rainbows, all kinds of formats. It is super cute. So I'm actually going to pick a couple of them. I'm going to pick this one right here, kind of a wonky rainbow look. And then I'm going to pick this. I love that saying my favorite color is rainbow and I'm going to insert those images. Okay. Now right off, I'm just going to shrink this one down a pretty good amount. I want it kind of small and on the inner edge. So I think it'll be somewhere around five inches looks about right. So I'm going to move that over. And then for this one, I actually measured the front of my drawers and I'm going to do 10 by 10. So we're going to go up here. I have this selected. I'm going to change the height and I'm going to put 10 right there. And I'm going to adjust this ever so slightly so it can be 10 by 10 perfectly even. And then after that, so I have all of my wonkiness right here. I'm actually going to ungroup my rainbow. So now I can select each part of the rainbow separately, if that makes sense. So I'm going to come to this one right here and change the color to match the color vinyl I plan to do. So that will be purple. And this one right here will be a pink. Then we'll have yellow, green, blue, perfect. And I want that to coordinate with what's going on over here. So for instance, instead of this orange, we're gonna change that to another color that's in 
the project already. So we'll go with maybe a yellow. And same thing for some of these other parts. These will be, we'll go with this color right here, which is going to match what is already going on. And we'll change this to the dark blue. So you can see over here in this box, it has material color. So this is showing you what you're already using, if that makes sense. So if you know what colors you want to use, that way I'm just making sure it can all be sorted into the correct mats. So I have this and this one will be, let's see if we can group this all together. I'm going to select these. So I'm going to just drag over all of these. We're going to group those just like that. And that is already grouped. Okay, so I have it all set to go. I'm going to click make it. And what it will do is sort it into the different color mats that I'm going to need. So you can see here's the yellow, the teal green. And that way I know what to put on the mat. It has it all sorted out for me. And if you notice, some of them are spaced apart in a certain way. And that's so that they can, um, I can line them up together if that makes sense. So that is all set. I'm going to press continue. And as soon as it finds my maker, then we will select the materials and go on from there. All right, everything is set. I always like to pick more pressure and then I will do all these cuts and then I'll show you the way I plan to assemble the two different parts. All right, I have all of my pieces cut here. And so I'm going to do the weeding next. And in case you didn't know, weeding means taking off the parts that you don't want to show. So for instance, on this large piece right here, when I do the weeding, I want to take out the parts of the rainbow or the parts that are not the rainbow arch. So it'll just come off like this. This is not a very intricate design. So it shouldn't take too long. And all that's left on the paper is the rainbow section. So I'm going to start applying onto my project and let me show you how I'm going to do this combining of the different images. The goal is actually for me to combine it before I put it on my project. So I'm going to start down here with my largest piece that is the R and the W and I'll just press this down and then remove that. I'm putting it onto my transfer tape. All right, and then I'll just continue on from there. So the next one will be the A. I'll stick that right in there. Cutting this in. And now the next one I'm actually gonna go with is the N and the O because the O is meant to be right above that W and I want to be really careful and make sure I get it right where I intended to. Nope. And it might take a few tries. The static brings it up really fast and so it might actually go easier if I lay this down first. Kind of lining it up like that. Let's see how we did. Pretty good there. Let me straighten this up just a little bit. 
All right, let's stick. Let's take these off. Transfer tape got a little bit bent. Okay. Okay, let's go with the B and the dot for the I right in there. Stick those on. And now, last but not least, we'll place this little I in place. Okay, so now the rainbow part is set and now I just have to add the, my favorite color is. I love that the transfer tape has the grid on it so you can make sure everything is as straight as possible. I don't need it to be perfect, just close enough. And pulling that off. Okay, so now I have everything on the transfer tape. I'm going to put this on the side of my set of drawers and it's gonna go right here at the bottom. Just a little note that mostly is for me to be able to see. So I'll stick that on, give it a nice good rub with my spatula here and then Slowly, oops. Okay, now I'm gonna follow the same method of putting all of the parts of this rainbow on the transfer tape at once and then transferring the whole image to the front of my drawers. So taking off the transfer tape. And then I love that this is a wonky image. So if I end up a little bit wonky, no worries. All right, getting the blue first. And again, I'm gonna work from big to small just to make sure everything is placed correctly. That next one will be the green. Placing that in there. Okay, next will be yellow. Again, you have to be careful of the static, pulling it a little bit. And last but not least will be the purple and then I'll have the entire image on there. Okay, so I have my entire rainbow. I'm going to move my set of drawers. And here's what I'm planning on doing. So I'm thinking I'm going to place it on here and then cut after it is already on. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go through really carefully and get these down and then come back through and gently cut where all of the breaks are. And honestly, we'll just see how that works. So getting it as close down as I can.
so the rainbow is on there. It's definitely going to need to be pressed down, but what I'm going to do is very carefully come right along these edges and just slice right there and use my uh, really sharp scissors here. And I'm not pressing very hard because I don't want it to tear unevenly, but I do want it to tear. So just want it to slice through that little part. And then what I'm gonna do is really press down on this section, for instance. Right there. Okay, that one is done. Now I'm gonna go through, do that on the rest of them, very carefully coming through with that slice. And then I will seal it all down with a spatula and we'll see how it does. Here is the finished product. It came out super cute. My little, my favorite color is over there. Bright rainbow drawers, great storage in my craft room, all removable. This was a great flip, super fun to work on. And I love how customized it is. If you enjoyed this video, will you please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. I have listed materials that I use down below. Um, remember when you go thrift shopping, you can always kind of customize a piece and it is one of my favorite projects to do. I hope that you have a fabulous day and as always, keep it creative.